Hello, son of God and my brother. This is your awakening. Say my mind and you don't die. Give as you receive and your release is certain. Today's idea, today's teaching is the number 46 in the series, the dispelling of the illusion, the dispelling of the ego, the undoing of the past, the undoing of the old, for the freedom of the sonship, for the prime creator of light, and my father, and the name of this teaching is, God is the love in which I forgive. Remember, this is the word of God. You have to just practice the thought, give them into your mind. Practice stillness, practice presence, let go and be and give the thought into your mind God is the love in which I, th I forgive God is the love in which I forgive I remind in this point in every teaching you are being guided you are being told exactly what to do how to practice them you just have to do it even if you don't understand fully the thoughts even if you do not yet grasp where they point you, you just even if uh, even if the ego is getting mad and tries to stop you you can't be stopped you just have to practice you don't even have to believe in them you just have to practice them god is the love in which i forgive god does not forgive because he has never condemned and there must be condemnation before forgiveness is necessary. Forgiveness is the great need of this world, but that is because it is a world of illusions. Those who forgive are thus releasing themselves from illusions, while those who withhold forgiveness are binding themselves to them. As you condemn only yourself, so do you forgive only yourself. Yet, although God does not forgive, His love is nevertheless the basis of forgiveness. Fear condemns and love forgives. Forgiveness thus and does what fear has produced returning the mind to the awareness of God. For this reason, forgiveness can truly be called salvation. It is the means by which illusions disappear. Today's exercises require at least three full five-minute practice periods and as many shorter ones as possible. God is the love in which I forgive. Begin the longer practice periods by repeating today's idea to yourself as usual. Close your eyes as you do so and spend a minute or two in searching your mind for those who whom, whom you have not forgiven. It does not matter how much you have not forgiven them. It does not matter how much you have not forgiven them. You have forgiven them, you have forgiven them entirely or not at all. If you are doing the exercises well, you should have no difficulty in finding a number of people you have not forgiven. It is a safe rule that Anyone you do not like is a suitable subject. Mention each one by name and say, God is the love in which I forgive you. And put the name after. The purpose of the first phase of today's practice period is to put you in a position to forgive yourself. After you have applied, you have applied the idea to all those who have come to mind, tell yourself, God is the love in which I forgive myself. Then devote the remainder of the practice period to, add, to adding related ideas such as, 
God is the love with which I love myself. God is the love in which I am blessed. The form of the application may vary considerably, but the central idea should not be lost sight of. You might say, for example, I cannot be guilty because I am a son of God. I have already been forgiven. No fear is possible in a mind beloved of God. There is no need to attack because love has forgiven me. Remember, practice stillness and give the thoughts. Practice the thought. Practice. 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 It's you. It's you, son of God. The pra- your thoughts, your real thoughts, the God of God. The practice period should end, however, with a repetition of today's idea as originally stated. God is the love in which I forgive. The shorter practice periods may consist either of a repetition of the idea for today in the original or in a related form as you prefer. Be sure, however, to make more specific applications if they are needed. They will be needed at any time during the day when you become aware of any kind of negative reaction to anyone, present or not. In that event, tell him silently, God is the love in which I forgive you. God is the love in which I forgive you.